So it looks like Australia. If I'm not mistaken, I think Australia has like two companies going on. One is Ford and one is Chevy. And I believe Chevy used to. They used to own Holden. Holden, I believe now also is a company that doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. It's sad because I know, if I'm not mistaken, Holden's been around for a good while. That's not something that was just like happened to be kind of around for a little bit and that's it. No. And like for this particular car as a Monaro uh, CV8 2004, this is technically the Pontiac GTO that came out. And which over there also, this is a right hand drive car it's sitting at 317 horsepower and 332 foot pounds of torque. And then... This one's literally says Ford. Ford Falcon XR8. Sitting at 581 horsepower, 446 foot pounds of torque. And here's another Holden. See, this is a 2004, the Commodore SS at 317 horsepower, 332 foot pounds of torque. Now, we're getting into Korea. So the first car is what the hell? Oleum Motors. That's interesting. Expedia from 2004. All right, so this is a V8 car, mid-engine rear-wheel drive. So this is sitting at 309 horsepower at 305 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see what else we got here. So they actually had their own Lexus, apparently. <laughs> Man, Lexus is everywhere. Um, the IS200 GT1 race car from 2004. So this is only a whopping 269 horsepower at 181 foot-pounds of torque. Now we got... Hyundai, the Tuscany CCS 2003 at 158 horsepower, 175 foot pounds of torque. Let's see what else we got. The Tiburon, this is from 1999, turbulent. 147 horsepower at 136 foot pounds of torque. So this is a 2001, 167 horsepower and 175 foot pounds of torque. So here's the Tiburon GT, 167 horsepower and 175 foot pounds of torque. Now this on the other end, the HCD6 Concept. Ooh. All right, so it supposedly would have been a 209 horsepower at 163 foot pounds of torque. So the Hyundai Coupe FX, which is Pretty much another Tiburon. Same horsepower, 167, and then torque is at 175. And then we got the Clicks concept. Okay, now this looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This, I'm not against this look here. This look is pretty interesting. Hell, this, for the most part, this looks like something that could come out right now. Odd shit, man. If I was Hyundai, I was like, you know what? I can give it a shot. Bring that out. Now, here's the thing. So this is sitting at 290 horsepower with 288 foot-pounds of torque, but all-wheel drive, that's pretty cool. Now, here's the way I think I would approach this car, just to be dead honest. This could be Hyundai's sports car, all electric. I think this style, backed with all electric, obviously this is already all-wheel drive, so they got to have that concept already on it. I think this would be a pretty cool car to have. Like, this would be their introductory into the electric game also in in a sportier set like i think this would probably be a, a really cool car and honestly that name i mean clicks that's honestly that's fucking cool i really think this this would be a fucking car that could sell pretty well i mean the styling is pretty cool i mean let me know what y'all think but i think it looks cool i really do Let's take a quick peek at Belgium, see what they have. So Belgium has a Galette Vertigo race car from 2004. So automobiles Galette. So this is sitting at 860 horsepower and 541 foot pounds of torque. Now let's shimmy on over to Spain where they got the Siet Ibiza Cupra. Sitting at 174 horsepower, 175 foot pounds of torque. All right, let's look at the Netherlands. Oh, I remember the first time I've ever seen this car. Like, the first time i ever heard this car existed. Honestly, I gotta give it to them. Uh, the Dutch made a damn good freaking car. I mean, I think this is just such a unique car that I really dig it. I mean, the interior is freaking beautiful. 
I'm going to try to put some photographs of the interior. That way uh, you guys can understand the beauty and the care that was placed into the interior of this car. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's a video on this car. I'll probably try to find that and put it in the description below. But uh, yeah, this thing, this is the only one they have. If I'm not mistaken, there is like a spider one, which is like a convertible and uh, maybe another model that's similar, but I'm not 100% sure. But this one's pretty cool, man. Spiker, sitting at 434 horsepower and 343 foot-pounds of torque at only 1,070 kilograms. That's not bad, shit. All right, let's take a look over, see what they got in Sweden. So Sweden is pretty much just Volvo. Looks like I only got one in the Premier cars. Uh, let's see here. See the Volvo C30R design from 2009. 216 horsepower with 228 foot pounds of torque, huh? Okay. Uh, looks like a shorter, stubbier version of that, uh, the wagon that I'm used to them having. Like, cause their wagon is definitely just longer and stuff. But this, that rear hatch is definitely different. This is unique to that car. And then as standards go for Volvo, we have the 1988 240 GLT Estate. See, this is the first time, the very first time in real life that I ever got uh, introduced to Volvo was one of these. Um, I think it was my grandma's sister that had one. I don't recall the color. I know it wasn't this color, but it was something else. And it was, a, it was an interesting ride. Obviously, it had its 80s feel to it. Uh, this is at 123 horsepower, 136 foot-pounds of torque. And then we got the Volvo S60 T5 Sport. 2003 see now this model style definitely seen and have still and still see uh plenty of particular style out there riding around uh this is sitting at 235 horsepower with 236 foot pounds of torque all right let's take a look at france so they have the citrion so the citrion gt by citrion race car what a wicked style definitely a really cool looking car like it's got its futuristic kind of look to it i i, I dig the way the side view mirrors are just i mean that's just such a unique design but this is a pretty interesting car this is sitting at 485 horsepower and 372 foot pounds of torque this is the road car version and then you have the race car version of citrion gt by citrion but what a hell of a car look at that thing now this is sitting at 581 horsepower and 418 foot pounds of torque all right what do we got c4 wrc from 2008 so that's their little rally car sponsored by Red Bull. Uh, let's see it. 315 horsepower at 406 foot pounds of torque. So what do we got? Another Citroën? This is the concept version? So that's funny. They got a concept and then they have the other one. So this one's sitting at, what the fuck? So 779 horsepower, but 1,808 foot pounds of torque. That was their concept. Wow, that's freaking nuts. <laughs> that's freaking nuts. And then we got, it looks like the regular C4 Coupe 2.0 VTS 2005. It's interesting how their logo is just like these two little arches, which the way they incorporated into the front of the car doesn't really necessarily show like there's a big emblem like how a lot of other companies do. This is a pretty cool car. This is a 172 horsepower, 147 foot pounds of torque. All right, let's look at Peugeot. But in French is Peugeot. So there's Peugeot, Peugeot, and then Peugeot. Peugeot. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. All right, enough of that. At least now I, I send me that. So Peugeot, here's a race car that they have. The 908 HDI FAP. So 679 horsepower, 859 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see what the other one looks like real quick. So I'm pretty sure it's the same design of the vehicle. Just different stuff all over it. Oh, it says PlayStation stuff. Same horsepower. Yep. And now the Peugeot 207 GTI from 2007. Little itty bitty hatch. So we're looking at 173 horsepower at 171 foot pounds of torque. And then we got the Peugeot. Oh, look at that. It's a little convertible. So the 307cc premium AVN 
2004. So it is a four seater, but <laughs> like many cars, those those back seats look tight. <laughs> 137 horsepower out of 136 foot pounds of torque. And then we have Renault Megane Renault Sport 2008 at 214 horsepower, 216 foot pounds of torque. This is the one car that I remember the first time I've heard about Renault. This little guy was the only thing I knew of. And honestly, I dig the style of this car. I really like it. Celio. Celio Sport. 241 horsepower at 214 foot-pounds of torque. The thing is, looking at it, you wouldn't know, but that is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. And it's like, really? It's a hatch, but it, the, the motor's in the back. All right, so we got... Alpine reminds me of, uh, isn't there radios and stuff like that named Alpine or something? This is a 1973 A310 1600 VE. Um, that is one fat ass. So this is sitting at 119 horsepower at 105 foot pounds of torque. So this is a rear engine rear wheel drive, huh? So that window hatch in the back would be the only way to access that motor then from the top. And then those headlights in the front, that is wicked. That's a hell of a style. All right, let's see what else we got. So we got the Alpine 1973 A110 1600S. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty cool style. So this is sitting at 134 horsepower, 110 foot pounds of torque. This is also a rear engine rear wheel drive. And then we have a Bugatti. So let's take a look at it. This is a 2009 Bugatti Viron 16.4. What a style of a car. I mean, it's just a nice rounded thing. I mean, I thought it looked nice when it came out. I was like, that's nice. But it's insane how they've taken this vehicle and then upped it and upped it and then upped it. Like, oh, there was one at 1400 horsepower easy doing god knows how fast it was gone like this one alone here in this game apparently was 956 horsepower at 894 foot pounds of torque four-wheel drive at 1888 kilograms so it's not that light that's for sure but for the way these vehicles run i mean to get to the speeds that these vehicles can get to i mean you're going through tires that's the, that's the problem is just getting tires that can support that speed and then last. <laughs> Bugatti. What a car. Now we got Citroën again. Citroën. So they also had another concept of the on the standard of the Citroën GT. But it's the same crazy. It's 779 horsepower with 1,808 foot-pounds of torque. Oh, look at this thing. A 1954 2CV Type A. And this is sitting at 13 horsepower with 21 foot-pounds of torque. All right, what do we got next? Zanate 3.0 E6 exclusive. Uh, 187 horsepower at 190 foot-pounds of torque. Then we got the C3 1.6 liter from 2002 104 horsepower 107 foot pounds of torque exara vtr from 2003 uh 102 horsepower 105 foot pounds of torque then we have the exara rally car that's sitting at 285 horsepower at 178 foot pounds of torque and then we have c5 v6 exclusive 2003 200 horsepower 210 foot pounds of torque now we got Homel, the Homel Berlinet RS Coupe from 1999. Let's see, uh, 158 horsepower, 140 foot pounds of torque. Oof, this is straight up racing right here. Pesarlio C60. And then you got this one. And then this one. So it looks like you got two, you got a couple of different variations of horsepower. So one's at 877 horsepower, one's at 765 horsepower. And then the other one's at 770 horsepower. So here's Peugeot 905 race car from 1992. 775 horsepower, 383 foot pounds of torque. Okay, we have the Peugeot 206 RC. <laughs> an RC. That's literally an RC car, right? Imagine that. It's so small. At 168 horsepower, 144 foot pounds of torque. Then we got from 2003 106 Raleigh. 
98 horsepower, 94 foot pounds of torque. And then this is a 2004 307 XSI. That's definitely a nice purple. That's a nice dark, like, that's a nice purple. So this car is sitting at 136 horsepower, 136 foot pounds of torque. Wow, nice and even. Then we got the Coupe 406 3.0 V6, 1998. So it's sitting at 197 horsepower with 204 foot pounds of torque. So this is the 2003 106 S16, 112 horsepower, 104 foot pounds of torque. Oh, here's a 206 rally car from 1999. So these are sitting at 290 horsepower with 383 foot pounds of torque. This is a 1985 205 Turbo 16. 194 horsepower with 182 foot pounds of torque. So here's a 205 Turbo 16 rally car, which this was beefed up to 334 horsepower with 315 foot pounds of torque. Then we have the 206 S16 1999 basic, uh, 133 horsepower, 131 foot pounds of torque. Then we have the 206 CC. So it's 129 horsepower, 136 foot pounds of torque. And then we have the 1986 205 Turbo 16 Evolution 2 rally car. So this one's more power at 434 horsepower at 350 foot pounds of torque. A Renault. So the first thing is a McGain 2.0 IDE Coupe from 2000. So this is 139 horsepower with 142 foot pounds of torque. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. Oven time. Dude, this thing is weird. Now that I think about it, um, I think Top Gear had this, this vehicle as like some kind of competition. It was from Top Gear from the BBC. Probably what I'll do is I'll put a link in, in the description below to that video. That way if anybody wanted to see it. So it's sitting at 198 horsepower with 203 foot pounds of torque. So this is a 2003 McGain 2.0 16 valve. I was wanting to say 16 valves maybe. 132 horsepower, 136 foot pounds of torque. And this is a 19 85 turbo just five what we're gonna call it the five uh, 154 horsepower 150 foot pounds of torque mid-engine rear wheel drive and then they got a 1985 five maxi turbo rally car so this is at 339 horsepower 301 foot pounds of torque now renault sport so that was renault and this is renault sport Sport. And this is the Celio Renault Sport. So this is sitting at 241 horsepower, 214 foot-pounds of torque. So what we got? Oh, so it's, this is like the same thing, just a different name. Yep, looks like the same thing, different name. Headlights look a little different. Same horsepower. Okay. And here's another one. <laughs> but this one's called the Phase Two. Uh, let's see. Same horsepower, but a little more, 248. The other one was 241. All right, okay, now something different. <laughs> this is a 2002 version of like that car. 164 horsepower, 145 foot-pounds of torque. This is the Trophy race car. 285 horsepower with 214 foot-pounds of torque, so obviously more power. Okay, okay. Then you got another one. This one's saying something about 24 valves, I think. But see, it's the same power as that other one we were looking at from earlier at 241 horsepower and 214 foot-pounds of torque. Well, that's it. All right. 